nothing to say right now And I don't care who hears I wanna live my life to the fullest Yeah, move past all my fears Here we come, here we are Now clap your hands with me Say you will, I say you can So clap your hands with me Sometimes you'll feel like you're all alone And there's nobody else around friends you found Ooh, yeah come on come on come on come on here we come here we are now clap your hands with me say you will say you can clap your hands with me Hey, what up, everybody? Mike's loose. One sec. There you go. How are we doing, everybody? Is my my audio good? I had to fiddle with some things, and I haven't used OBS yet. Um, I think it should be good, but just double checking. Just double checking to make sure. What up, everybody? What up, chat? Play games. Long time no see. Bert, the electronics, first in the chat. <clears throat> GG's. Let's go. Game Maker 101. Um, I forgot to. I'm just gonna real quick. Where did my screen go? There we go. I forgot to announce live streaming game maker basics on TSB Twitch. Twitch.tv slash the sandbox game at everyone. If you guys aren't already in the Discord, Get inside the Discord. It's the best way to 
stay up to date and up to speed on everything that I got going on. But anyways, now we're good to go. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot. I realized I forgot to do that after I jumped on live. How's everyone doing? Game Maker 101, going over some basics inside of the Game Maker. If anyone in the chat tuning in live has any questions or anything you want me to cover, let me know or think. There's a couple of different things we could be doing, um, but I think what I'm going to tackle first is I got a, a I do have a list of questions that have come in on the forums, um, so I will check that out. By the way, um, by the way, let's get to the news, news of the week with Panda first, and then we'll and then we'll dive on into everything. Uh, it's about seven minutes long, so it's a it's a longer news segment. So we're gonna play that, and then we'll get on into everything. Um, this is what's going down inside of the sandbox right now brought to you by panda into what is happening this week and all of the latest news as well as our mentions of the week going over to the events page we do still have the game maker fund builders challenge happening there is a huge reward pool of 1 million sand shared between all the winners. If you would like to know how to be eligible, please do go over to sandbox.game and go to events, click on the builders challenge event. And here you will see plenty of links that will take you to see eligibility and all of that important stuff. So go check that out. Next, we have the Love and Music Festival. This ends on March 28th. So just a few more days remaining for this one. So make sure to go and play those experiences, get that EP, so you are eligible to win the prizes. Many different prizes for lots of different types of people. 80k for landowners, 50k for avatar owners, 30k sand is for everybody, so no investment needed there. And then there are some additional rewards. Next up, we do have the Entanglement Treasure Hunt. This ends on April 24th. This is a super unique kind of event happening. This is being run by Endzone and the prize is by Endzone. This is just something that Sandbox is supporting and advertising. So definitely go check out the Entanglement game um, by Endzone. Next up, registrations for a game jam. Yes, Chef Game Jam. Register by March 20th. So you'll only have a few more days once this video goes live. And if you did miss registration, then do make sure to always be checking those event pages because Box Edit and Game Jams do show up on here. So do check there. There's the prize breakdowns here. So it'll show you all of the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th place, 5th to 10th place, as well as the honourable mentions. Next up is the Easter 2024 Vox Edit Contest. This ends on March 29th, so you've got a few days. There is a regular category and a beginner category. You can click learn more to go to the Medium article, which does have a few additional information, but all of the main information is on here. So we have prizes with uh, the breakdown for each category, how to be a verified creator, the all the important dates as well as results being announced on a live show on April 20th over on Twitch. So make sure to tune in for that. How to submit your entry, important guidelines, please do check these and the judging criteria. Now let's move on to our mentions of the week. So our first one goes to Chimper Bastion, and sorry if I said your name wrong, and this is for their primal assets. So they have primal equipment here, and this is somebody from the Creator Fund, and I will be highlighting many members of our Creator Fund throughout these mentions of the week, as well as many other artists as well. These legs have speed associated to them. So this is their primal armor. Check out Chimp Chimper Bastion, and I hope I said that name correct. Some amazing assets there for 100 sand. 
Our next mention goes to S7E FA Voxel. Obviously, we want to highlight both Creator Fund and other artists as well. So do make sure if you would like to be mentioned in our mentions of the week for art, for experiences that you have created, or just general content that you would like us to highlight on these streams, then do let me know. Tag PandaPop7 over on Twitter so I can see your amazing work and showcase you. But this is an amazing tank. Look at the detail on this. Look at it. Fantastic. Fantastic detail. Next up is Arumita with the police security drone. Cute little thing here. Lots of animations. Would be great in so some sort of uh, futuristic experience. Next, I want to highlight this little video that I was tagged in by Lucky Sheep. It's an elevated house that they have created. Lots of love and detail has been put in this asset and I, I really like it. Our last mention of the week goes to Chili Oil. And if you have not seen Chili Oil's work, you definitely should. It's just a, a definite artist that you should be following. So Chili Oil actually posted this uh, picture the other day. And I've actually had some people ask is is this is this done in Vox Edit? Is this is this a sandbox game? <laughs> has this been created using Vox Edit? Yes, yes, it has, and it's it's wonderful. It's absolutely fantastic. Just so clean, and the detail is fantastic. The way they've been able to make it not look like voxels is. Just wonderful, and I really, really wanted to highlight them. They're always making fantastic, absolutely fantastic pieces of work, and I just really wanted to highlight this here because it's beautiful. It's just stunning. So now let's go on to our experience mentions of the week, and let's get into those. So our first experience mention is Color Catch by Yetzi Jam Game, and I'm sorry if I said that incorrect as well. Absolutely amazing, love this one, great multiplayer experience. So definitely go in there with some of your friends, hang out. We should be playing this, depending on when you're seeing this news of the week, we should be playing this on Friday's group play stream that we are doing. So yeah, looks really cool, definitely. Uh, check this one out. Our next experience mention is Bunny's Brawl. Go check this out. This was entered for the Care Bears end of year tower defense game jam. If a tower defense game is something that you are interested in checking out, do go have a little look and a little play. Show some love to uh, Aoki, uh, Aoki Studio. That is it for our news of the week. And now back to your regular scheduled content. See you next time. Because I'm muted. That's why. We're back. Let me get off the screen. Hello. I'm not played again. Thank you guys for listening to the news. That was the last time you'll hear that news on a sandbox stream. There'll be a new recording coming out tomorrow, most likely, uh, which I believe the next stream is going to be, yep, tomorrow, 5 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow, Wednesday, for Alex and Lucas for their Wednesday stream. But today we got Game Maker 101. Let's go. We only got like 45 minutes. 45 minutes <laughs> now after after we had that all that news. So um, give me one second to respond to this message, and then we'll get into things. Does anyone have any questions about Game Maker that they want me to uh, dive into and cover on this stream? Otherwise, I got a couple of things we can start looking into. 
Uh, what up, Maddox, by the way? Um, sorry, I got to get this. Okay. We're good. Sorry, I had a message come in that I had to deal with while Panda was talking, and then I didn't get done with it in time. But we're good to go now. Be back. What up, Maddox? What up, Insanity? No sound. Never mind. Yeah, I figured it out. I couldn't hear myself. I got I got myself in my headphones, so when I can't hear myself, I'm like, there's something wrong. Uh, that's not where I meant to go. I meant to open up Game Maker and also open up. Um, Game Maker Logic to Learn Login. Oh, I had I I uh I I use a PC, so I can't I don't know how to answer this question, but maybe somebody in the chat will know. So I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw this question out there to everybody in the chat. Um So I'll show it. I'll show it on screen just one second, but the question is how do you do the fill um fill blocks where you hold the control the right alt i think it's the right alt that you hold and then click uh to place the blocks and it fills all of that that one layer as much as it can um how do you do that on a mac what buttons are are you pushing on a mac to do that does anybody know that i'll i'll show an example of what i'm talking about on screen here in a second but um if anyone knows how to do that control just control click it doesn't matter the bind the bind on windows is so if i do if i do right alt and click uh, right control and click that's why you said control right control and click it fills in um the entire that entire layer as much as it can uh, with with blocks so right control and clicking the left mouse button so really we just i guess we just need to know what right control is on mac would that be the same um seems like they're asking that because it doesn't work with what they're trying um There is no right control, they say, on a Mac. Maybe command. I have a Mac sitting up here. Command or option or on the right side. I never, I never would have known that you could do something with only the right button, but not the left. I always thought it was the same. Like, both controls did the same thing. Can you delete? No, nope, you can't delete using the right control. That'd be kind of nice. Why can I not undo that? Strange. Well, whatever. Uh, chat. Just moment. Check ticket. Should be command. The command key. But doesn't work on your Mac. Oh, okay. Well, if anyone figures it out, let me know what does work, and uh, I'll announce it <laughs> um, on on screen so we have that. Um. All right, and then 
So we're covering that. We'll see if we get that figured out. How okay, this is a this is a question that I had come in. Let's address this. Uh I don't I don't recall. I don't really like mark down who said what. Um so if this is your question, great. We're answering it. If it's not your question, maybe it'll help you. Um but somebody wants to know how to make invisible blocks. Now I don't know I don't know what that exactly means like if you want the actual blocks to be invisible um that i'm not 100 percent sure on i guess we could dive into box edit and see if that is a thing i don't i i know you can do like translucent but i don't think you can make them completely translucent i don't i don't really know i i don't, I don't know that side of box edit very well um but um i'm sure somebody in the chat can answer but how I interpreted this question and what some people may wonder is how how do you make like invisible barriers or stuff so that people like like for instance maybe you didn't this is this is, this would be a good example maybe you don't want people to be able to jump out of this arena um, if they figure out a way uh, I think it's too high to begin with but maybe it wasn't too high or there was a way for them to get on these and then they could jump out uh, possibly maybe that was something. So if you, anyways, if you, if you didn't want people to be able to jump out of this, what you could do, uh, is go to here. Uh, we, we can just use the ancient, that should work. We'll use the, the ancient cave wall. And what we will do is we'll place it on the ground. Then we'll rotate it to get it into position. We'll slide it into position. Whoops, that was way too many buttons that were not what I was trying to push. <laughs> um, slide it into position. And then all you got to do is click on that little eye icon right up here next to the name. Click that and then and then people won't be able to so let's do a couple things here just to show how this works. Although you would need it technically need it to be higher than this. I guess we could do let's control duplicate and rotate just because I got OCD. It's slightly off because of the duplicate, but we get the picture. Um also make sure that collisions are on. Yes, collisions are on. Perfect. Um, so now this is an invisible asset that does have collisions on. So what we're going to do also is delete that so we can get up there. And then we'll we'll tab in and check this out. But this is all you have to really do to set up a barrier if you're trying to. I don't know. I, this is what I, I thought maybe was trying to be figured out whenever this question was asked but how to so see now i can't it looks like i can go over there if i go around it i obviously can but the wall the wall's right here um, which is stopping us from using these levers actually it's not I can get close enough <laughs> then we got some speed boost and we died because we waited too long. But that's how uh, I need to get out of the screen to get out of here. There we go. But that's how you can set up a, a barrier that is invisible. So like an invisible block. Um, I'm not. It, so if that's what you were trying to accomplish, like completely invisible, that would be the way to go. If you wanted it to be literally a block, uh, you could create an asset. Not an actual block, but an asset that is um, the same size as a block. 32 by 32, I believe. 32 by 32 by 32. Um, and then there, there probably is a, a block asset in here. Maybe. Maybe not. I've seen block assets, but um, then you could place that and then turn it invisible. So that would be invisible. uh play games please try right shift and click 
for placing blocks. Right shift. Okay. Um, does did any does anyone have a Mac? And can and has Game Maker on it? Can somebody try that? Right shift. Does right shift accomplish this? So I'm holding right. Right, uh, right now I'm holding right control and clicking the left mouse button with a block selected, and that fills in that whole layer everywhere it can go um, until it runs into something. Does right shift work for the max? Transparent blocks, he means pretty sure. And, and okay, yeah, so there is transparency when you're publishing the block. So you can also make transparent blocks. Uh, Play game says that doesn't work. Just double check. That's all right. You think give you a different answer um should we why don't we i mean we got why not why don't we just keep diving into this so let's let's open a box at it and we'll we'll kind of go through how to do that if you want to get an invisible block an actual invisible transparent block color a block why why black just because or is black the best to use color block black and set transparency to 20 on the website when publishing. What is going on with my box edit? Strange. Strange things are happening. I'm gonna close box edit, try opening it again. I do not know what's going on here, guys. I can't see my mouse. Strange. Nope. There, now I can see it. Nope, now I can't. Blue Tulip says blocks are not 100% invisible. Assets that are made invisible are 100%. That's a good way to kind of clarify that. I don't know what's going on with my box edit, but I guess we're not going <laughs> to mess around with that. Uh, but essentially, create a block. It sounds like if you use black, it works good. Create a completely black block and then publish it. Uh, and on the website, set the transparency to 20 when you're publishing. And that should give you a transparent-ish block. Or maybe not ish. I don't know. But this accomplishes another thing <laughs> that is invisible walls, if that's what you're looking for. Both both good things. Invisible blocks. You could also, like I said, you could just use box edit and instead of making an actual block if you wanted it wanted to make it completely trans or yeah, completely hundred percent invisible, transparent. Um, you could create a block as an actual asset, not a block. And then whenever you place that block, this is a numpad, but if this was the block, then whenever you do that, then if you click on it. And you go up to the eye icon, you click that, and now it's invisible. But it is still there if collisions are on, which on, in this case, they are. Sweet. Myth busted. I don't think that was a myth, but you know what I mean.
I have a full-size Bluetooth keyboard and both keyboards do not work with laying a full floor of blocks. For the Mac, you're saying? I wonder what I wonder what that is on the Mac. We don't know. Maybe someday we'll find out. All right, we did how to make invisible blocks. Somebody wanted us to does anyone have any questions or anything you want me to dive into? Otherwise, um, someone wanted to see how, and I feel like we've kind of done some of these steps. I don't think we've done the entire process though, um, but we have done some of these steps. So if you want to know how to set up a race inside of the sandbox with checkpoints is the request. So let's set up our a little race on here somewhere. Um, we'll just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it over here. So let's figure out let's figure out how to set up a race. So first we're just going to do something. We're gonna go black, white. Just cause I want. Oops. So this will be our starting line. Do starting lines and finish lines have check check mark checkered 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 stuff? They do in our world. We're racing. Race into the God damn it. There we go. And all right, so we got we got ourselves our our little our little race course, <laughs> very simple. But this is just obviously just an example. Um, so now let's figure out how to. What all would we want to do with a race? Actually, let's make this the finish line. This would be the starting line. Just a sprint, sprint to the finish line. No, start lines are polka dots. <laughs> I don't know if you're being serious or not, um, but I don't know how to do polka dots. I feel like it's similar. So what would we need to do first to set up a race? And then What we're also gonna do, I, I just had, just for example's sake, this is also what we're gonna do. We are going to I think we'll do something like that.
Uh, I have an idea now, too, to incorporate the walls. Should just go over there. So that's what we're going to do. I love it. It's all, all coming together into one fine-tuned machine. Duplicate it. Move it over. I mean, just got to make sure that people can't get through it, essentially. Should we be, be able to do all of these now? Dupe. Get out of the way, drag. That looks good to me. Can delete that one. And then we'll just dilute, duplicate this. Control D to duplicate. Hold shift to select all those. Hold shift to select them all. Whammy. So there's our racetrack, and we're also going to just for funsies grab a fun fun cube. I meant to delete the bottom first, but that's all right. Delete, delete. Just holding left, left clicking to delete these blocks. Whoops. I got to remember, not everyone knows anything that I'm doing. Something like that. Let's just test it. Okay, so you can't you can't get outside of the the race. So that's good. I feel like you can't jump on those. Yeah. So we're gonna have to actually lower them. Or we could we could make little ramps. That might actually be kind of fun. Let's make little ramps there. So to make little ramps, we're gonna find something that looks rampable. Billboard? Seems pretty rampable. So we're going to throw throw some ramps down. Wrong way. Yeah, 
Beautiful. And we'll slide that. It's holding shift to slide that forward. Let's see how that works. Are we going to be able to run up that or are we going to get caught up on it? Oh, yeah. Dead. That was almost. <laughs> almost too easy for that one. All right, we'll make them a little bit wider, so it's a little bit harder, I guess. And actually, I'm also going to do this. Oh, what's going on? Can you jump four? How far? How many? How far can you jump? One, two, three, four. I think you can jump five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. This is six. We'll see if we can get six. Pretty sure. Yeah, we. You definitely can jump five. We were just doing that. Okay, you can get six. <laughs> So we'll we'll add one more in. Actually, that's what we'll do. Why am I being so picky about this? Because that's me. But let's see. Ah, fuck. I just wanna I wanna make sure I don't think you'll be able to jump this. No. How far is that? Because that's like I'm so close to being able to jump it. So that is jump length. And jump length one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can jump seven blocks, you can't jump eight from the looks of it. So, oh, Laurie in the chat says, I think seven. So you can jump seven, can't do eight. So that should be just challenging enough. And we'll, we're, what we're gonna, what we're gonna do with this very basic race is we'll set up, we're gonna set up a, a timer so that a timer starts. And then we will set up a checkpoint that triggers here. So whenever anyone gets to it, to the checkpoint, it triggers there. So then if they die trying to do this, it brings them back to this one, but not back to the starting line. But we also need to set up a checkpoint at the starting line because that's going to be their first, their first checkpoint stop. So, handful of things that we got to do. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So we don't have to redo that. All right. We're running out of time. I, this, I, one hour I don't think is enough for this. What do you guys think? Do you think we run out of time pretty damn fast? I think we do. I think two hours is perfect for game maker stuff I'm going to actually lower this down into the ground just a smidge yeah
Hell yeah. Oh, you know what I want to do? I'm, I'm just kidding. Since we took so long building this up. <laughs> Let's do this. We're going to make this whole area death. And then what we will do... one more there and then turn around we're gonna make this just too wide delete those All right, I like that better. So this this will be the checkpoint though. Um so we can get we can start by placing some of those assets. So we're going to open up the old logic. Actually, it's right here. We got a logic asset. Let's get the checkpoints set up first. So we're going to put a a checkpoint here. Or no. Let's put it in the Put it there. That's going to be our first checkpoint. Checkpoints, I'm pretty sure, are components. Maybe not, though. Wait. Yep, right there. Checkpoint. So it's a multiplayer checkpoint. Message required is going to be... Wait, edit logic. Message required. What should the message required be? We'll figure that out in a second. Forever. Then we'll add this. So we're going to use a speaker to detect the entity. Doesn't matter what the display is. We'll turn that off. We don't need it to be looking at the target. Speak condition, detect entity, speak. Uh, da, 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 da. We're going to change it to box. And we're going to go 10, 2. Um, edit logic again. So what we want it to be, that'll work actually. Is it not outside? It is slightly outside. So let's change that. Edit logic to Z to four. Da -da 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 -da. Come on now. Can we do four? 
Uh, can we do four and a half? Just curious. We can. You can. You can do decimals. That's cool. All right. I think that almost covers everywhere. Now we're covering everywhere. So we need to. What we need to do is move this guy there. All right. So that's our first, our first speaker that's going to detect an entity. Entity when it detects it, broadcast type is all. Only once is false. Message to send. We're going to do start. Start race. Can we just do start race? We're going to for sure use start race, but let's go ahead and are we running out of time? We are running out of time. Start race. Maybe I, should, maybe I shouldn't get too deep into this, but this is basically what we're going to end up doing. Uh, we'll we'll come back to this on Thursday's stream and continue iterating on this. And then once we get, once we show the general logic for this, then we can incorporate this into a game. Uh, maybe we maybe we go build a a simple multiplayer map, and so that whenever because we have a single player map going, but whenever we do multiplayer stuff, I want to have a place to implement that too, so we could set up a a little race course that we could have everyone pop into after we get after we get it built up a little bit. Does the speaker need to be no since checkpoint is MP? No, not bow. No, not bow. Oh, I see what you're saying. Good call. <laughs> I think you're, you're actually 100% right. I think it needs to be... Multiplayer speaker. GC. Good call. Delete. So yes, always make sure you're using the right. If you if you want it to be communicating with the multiplayer checkpoint, you gotta have it communicate with this or use the multiplayer speaker. So we'll have to redo all that. That's fine. We'll we'll redo all we'll do we'll redo that all do both. Yes. <laughs> They do need to be like multiplayer speaks to multiplayer. I don't think the single player would speak to the multiplayer asset. I think we've tested that before. We could have left it on there and tried it, but. Okay, we got a single player. Let's put a multiplayer on there. And we'll test it eventually. Whoops. I'm going to turn this into a speaker, multiplayer speaker, multiplayer speaker. And we'll see which one, which one it needs to be, or if it could be both. Because I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it needs to be multiplayer. But that's a question for Thursday. I'm going to save this, and we'll we'll get back to working on this on Thursday's stream. Thursday's stream. For those of you that aren't aware, sandbox study hall, similar concept, two hours long though. We got extra time so we can dive into a lot more. If you have any questions, please bring them. Otherwise, we'll continue to work on both our single player game and now we have a multiplayer uh, map that we're going to start working on as well with this racing logic. So 
Um, we'll, we'll work on both of those and just keep figuring out the basics of building games inside of the, in, inside of the sandbox with the game maker. Let's go. Um, for those of you that are new here, thank you. For those of you that have been here a while, also thank you for tuning in. Make sure you give Sandbox a follow if you haven't already. My schedule's up on the screen. This is my weekly regular schedule. I got GM Metaverse, my daily weekday show. Crypto gaming is the main focus. We go into all things crypto gaming. Some shit coins as well. Metaverse Mondays, we'd play viewer games in the sandbox all over the metaverse. Tune in on Monday nights for a chance to win some sand, courtesy of Pickaxe Master. Playing their mining in the Misty Mountain. And then, of course, Game Maker 101 right now, Tuesdays, 7 p.m. Central Time, and Sandbox Study Hall Thursdays, 7 p.m. Central Time, and Sandbox Study Hall is a two-hour stream. Uh, so make sure you tune into that if you got questions or want to keep learning about how to do stuff inside of the Game Maker. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you catch Alex and Lucas tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Time. They'll be streaming right here on the Sandbox Twitch. And I think they'll also be streaming on Twitter, maybe even YouTube. I don't have access to that, so we only do Twitch for me. Uh, maybe I'll be everywhere eventually, but um, don't have that yet. But again, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm checking to see who's live right now. Looks like Play Games has got Sandbox going on. Anyone anyone else we should raid, let me know in the chat. Um, happy to raid over to Play Games, though. Show some love to Play Games. And I will catch y'all on a next stream. Until then, take it easy, y'all. Peace. Oh, and make sure you go follow me wherever you can follow me. You guys know the drill. Later. Well, I got something to say right now, and I don't care who hears. I want to live my life to the fullest. Yeah, move past all my fears. Here we come, here we are. Now clap your hands. Feel like you're all alone.